the heart of Yellowstone, peeking into the secrets of old. Faithful and Beehive Geyser Yellowstone National Park is not merely a landscape it is a living, breathing, geothermal engine. Beneath its tranquil meadows and forests lies one of the most complex hydrothermal systems on Earth, powered by immense heat rising from deep within the planet. Among the thousands of hot springs, fumaroles, and geysers, Old Faithful and Beehive Geyser stand as two contrasting expressions of the same hidden force. Together, they reveal how pressure, heat, water, and rock interact in ways that are both predictable and violently sudden offering scientists a rare window into Earth's restless interior. Yellowstone's Hydrothermal Engine The Invisible Foundation Before Understanding Geysers we must understand what feeds them. Beneath Yellowstone lies a shallow magma reservoir, several kilometers below the surface. A vast network of fractured volcanic rock, constant infiltration of rainwater, as surface water seeps downward, it encounters increasingly hot rock. Under high pressure, Water does not boil at 100 degrees Celsius it can remain liquid far above that temperature. This creates superheated water, storing enormous energy just below the surface. Geysers form only where heat is sufficient, water supply is continuous, subsurface. Plumbing is narrow enough to trap pressure this rare combination explains why geysers are so uncommon worldwide and why Yellowstone hosts the majority of them. Old Faithful – A Model of Natural Precision Old Faithful is often misunderstood as simple. In reality, it is one of the most finely balanced geothermal systems ever observed. Subsurface Architecture.Old Faithful's plumbing resembles a vertical shaft with side chambers. Water fills these chambers slowly. Heat builds from below, steam. Bubbles form but remain trapped. Pressure steadily increases. Once pressure surpasses a critical threshold, the system destabilizes and eruption begins. Why? Old Faithful is so predictable. Old Faithful's regularity comes from stable underground. Geometry, consistent heat flow, minimal blockage by minerals after. Each eruption, the system empties. Pressure. Resets. Water refills at a measurable rate. This is why eruption intervals can be predicted based on the er duration of the previous eruption. Rare natural feedback loop. happens if old, faithful erupts more powerfully than usual. Occasionally, old faithful produces taller eruption columns, longer eruption durations, louder steam discharge. Scientific Interpretation A stronger than usual eruption suggests temporary changes, not danger. Possible causes include Increased groundwater input from seasonal snowmelt. Partial mineral sealing events. Increasing pressure, minor. Earthquakes, subtly rearranging fractures. Fluctuations, 
and heat transfer from below. Physical consequences, greater pressure release, leads to more explosive boiling. The eruption expels more. Water and steam recharge time increases, lengthening the interval until the next eruption. Critical clarification. Even a dramatically stronger, old faithful eruption does not involve magma reaching the surface, does not signal a volcanic eruption, does not indicate. Yellowstone is waking up. It remains a hydrothermal event, governed by fluid mechanics not magma ascent. Beehive Geyser Yellowstone's Pressure Cannon Beehive Geyser is the opposite of Old Faithful in nearly every way, where Old Faithful releases pressure steadily. Beehive Hoards Pressure Why Beehive is so powerful? Its underground conduit is narrower. Pressure builds rapidly with limited escape. Paths. Steam accumulation is intense and sudden. When eruption occurs, the pressure drop is instantaneous. The moment of beehives fierce. Eruption. A beehive eruption is among the most dramatic natural events in Yellowstone. Water explodes upward at extreme velocity. A towering jet often exceeding 60 meters pierces. The sky-taught steam expands violently, producing a thunderous roar. The eruption is brief, but astonishingly intense. From a thermodynamic perspective, superheated water flashes into steam. Volume expands. Rapidly dot energy is released in seconds, rather than minutes. This is pressure physics, in its purest form. Comparing two expressions of the same system aspect, behavior, prefever buildup, eruption, duration, energy, release, scientific value. Old faithful, predictable, gradual, long, controlled, long term stability tracking. Beehive Geyser – Irregular, Rapid, Short, Explosive Extreme pressure dynamics, together, they show how small subsurface differences can produce vastly different surface behavior. Geysers as Scientific Instruments Modern monitoring turns these geysers into natural sensors. Scientists use seismometers to detect underground fluid movement. GPS to track ground deformation, temperature probes to monitor heat flow. Chemical analysis to study dissolved minerals. Changes in geyser behavior help scientists understand how earthquakes affect hydrothermal systems, how climate influences groundwater recharge how pressure redistributes beneath volcanic regions. Do powerful geyser eruptions increase risk? Hydrothermal systems can be hazardous, but in localized ways, sudden steam explosions can damage nearby terrain. Ground instability may occur near vents. Thin crust areas can collapse without warning. However, these risks are surfacely vol. They do not imply supervolcano eruption. Yellowstone's magma system operates on vastly longer timescales. Geysers release pressure knot, build it toward catastrophe. Yellowstone's deeper meaning, a dynamic balance. 
old. Faithful and Beehive demonstrate that Yellowstone is not dormant, is active but regulated. The system constantly releases heat, adjusts through hydrothermal circulation, prevents excessive pressure buildup over wide areas. In this sense, geysers act as safety valves, allowing Earth's heat to escape gradually rather than catastrophically. Conclusion Listening to Yellowstone's voice When Old Faithful erupts more powerfully, or Beehive launches water violently into the sky, Yellowstone is not issuing a warning, it is speaking its natural language. These geysers tell a story of energy transfer, pressure equilibrium, geological time in motion. They remind us that Yellowstone's heart is alive not as a ticking time bomb, but as a dynamic, self-adjusting system. By observing, measuring, and understanding these eruptions, science transforms spectacle into inciting fear into respect for one of Earth's most extraordinary natural engines.